Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome to Leisure Gaming. Today we are going to talk about Punk. Not Punk Virtual, not Punk Adventure, not Punk Eldritch, just pure punks. And I feel like just pure punks have been overlooked and they're just so good to play with. So let's go right into the deck. So here's the deck list for just pure punk. Of course, we're going to start off with the death spot. 001 gains 500 attack and defense for each machine monster you control if two or more machine monsters are special summoned at the same time while this card is in your graveyard you can special summon this card of course you see death spot you know we've got the aurora dawn package in here so we'll talk about that a little later we're running three maxis probably be a lot of back and forth on this and some people are not gonna like this but i'm running one mecha phantom beast o lion while you control a token this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Mecha Phantom Beast token. You can only use this effect once per turn. You can banish this card from your graveyard immediately after the effect resolves and normal summon one Mecha Phantom Beast from your hand. We're running the ever popular three Ash Blossoms. And now we get into the punks. We're running three Punk Shirakusai. You can pay 600 life points to fusion summon one Punk Fusion Monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as material. During your opponent's turn, you can pay another 600 life points and immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon one punk synchro monster using monsters you control as material. I'm running one punk wagon. Uh, you can run this at two if you like. Although I find it that it works out better if it stays in the deck. I, I don't really want to see this in my hand at all. You can pay 600 life points, add one punk spell from your deck to your hand. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a punk you control, or when your opponent's monster targets one for an attack, you can activate the effect and draw one card. We're running two punk madam spiders. You can pay 600 life points, add one punk trap from your deck to your hand. When you activate a punk card or effect that targets a card your opponent controls, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls, its attack becomes half until the end of the turn. We're running three Punk Xiamen. This card is extremely important, so it has to stay at three. This is gonna be your searcher for your other punks. You can pay 600 life points, add one punk monster from your deck to your hand, except itself. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one punk monster you control, it gains 600 attack. And that 600 attack is permanent. We're running one Mecha Phantom Beast Cult. If this card is special summon, special summon two Mecha Phantom Beast tokens. You must control another Mecha Phantom Beast monster to activate and resolve this effect. This card's level is increased by the total levels of all Mecha Phantom Beast tokens you control. While you control a token, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Once per turn, you can tribute two tokens and target one card your opponent controls. Destroy that target. Next, we're running three Mythic Water Dragons, which works extremely well in this deck. If you control an earth monster, you can special summon this card. You can only special summon mythic water dragon once per turn this way. Why is this important? Every three star punk monster that is in the deck is an earth type. So this can be special summoned and all the three stars are also tuners. So then you can go right into your big monsters that we'll talk about later. Running three punk foxy tune, which is also another search and allows you to special summon. Once per turn, when this card destroys an opponent's monster or battle, you can gain life points equal to that monster's original attack. You can only use each of the following effects of Punk Foxy Tune once per turn. You can tribute one Punk monster, special summon this card from your hand. You can send this card from your hand or the field to the graveyard. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard. And if you do, special summon one Punk monster from your deck to the field. Running three Punk Ogre Dance, which is another search. Once per turn, when your opponents activate a monster effect, you can make this card gain attack equal to that monster's original attack until the end of this turn. You can use each of the following effects of Punk Ogre Dance once per turn, where you can tribute one Punk Monster, special summon this card from your hand. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard or the field to the graveyard. Add one Punk Monster from your deck to your hand. Next, we're running one Raigeki to help clear the field. We're running one Harpy's Feather Duster to clear that backfield. One Monster Reborn. We're running one Punk Wild Picking. 
At the start of the damage step, if your punk monster battles an opponent's monster, you can destroy that monster. You only get to use the effect once per turn. If this card in its owner's spell and trap zone is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can activate this effect where punk monsters you currently control cannot be destroyed by battle. We're running one punk crash beat. If your opponent activates a card or effect that targets your punk monsters, you can target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. You can only use this effect once per turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard by your opponent's card effect, you can activate this effect and this turn your opponent cannot target punk monsters you control with card effects and they cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effect. We're running two emergency teleports where you can switch to summon one level three or lower psychic monster from your hand or deck, but it's banished at the end of this turn. We're running two infinite impermanence where you can target one face up monster your opponent controls, negate its effects. Then if this card was set before activation and is on the field at resolution for the rest of the turn, other spell and traps in this column are negated. If you control no cards, you can activate this card from your hand. Running 2, Punk Dangerous Gabu. You can target one effect monster your opponent controls, negate its effects. Then if you control a punk monster, gain life points equal to that targeted monster's original attack. We're running two punk Nashawari surprises. Target one set card your opponent controls, or if you control a punk mouse, you can target one face up card your opponent controls and destroy it. On to the extra deck. We're starting off with two punk rising cart. You can tribute this card and special summon two punk monsters with different names from either your hand or your deck, except level eight monsters in defense position. If this is used as a synchro material monster, you can target one punk monster you control and it can make a second attack during each battle phase this turn. Running one Herald of the Arc Light, any monster sent from the hand or main deck to the grave is banished instead. When a spell or trap card or monster effect is activated, you can tribute this card, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one ritual monster or ritual spell from the deck to your hand. We're running one Cupid Pitch, which has been released in the latest update which makes this deck even better now. If this card is Synchro Summon, increase or decrease this card's level by the level the tuner used as material hand on the field. This card gains attack equal to the level times 400. If this Synchro Summon card is sent to the graveyard as Synchro Material, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the new Synchro Summon's monster's level times 100. And if you do, you can add one level 8 or lower monster with 600 defense from your deck to your hand. We're running one Wind Pegasus Ignister. During your main phase, you can destroy spell or traps your opponent controls up to the number of Ignis or monsters you control. If another card, cards you control, is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect while this card is on the field or in the graveyard, you can banish this card, then target one card your opponent controls, shuffle it into the deck. We're running one Boreload Savage Dragon. If this card is Synchro Summon, you can equip one Link Monster from your graveyard to this card, and if you do, place counters on this card equal to that Link Monster's rating. This card gains attack equal to half the attack of the monster equipped. When your opponent activates a card or effect, you can remove one of the counters and negate the activation. We're running one Star Eater. Must be Synchro Summoned and cannot be Special Summoned by other ways. This card's Synchro Summon cannot be negated. When Synchro Summon cards and effects cannot be activated. If this card attacks, it is unaffected by other card effects until the end of the damage step. We're running two Punk Amazing Dragons, which are the boss monsters for this deck. When this card is Synchro Summoned, you can target cards your opponent controls up to the number of level 3 Psychic Monsters with different names you control and in your graveyard and return them back to their hand. So that clears your opponent's field. You can target one Punk Monster in your graveyard except the Amazing Dragon and Special Summon it. You can only use one effect per turn. So if you use the first effect on summon, you're not going to get that monster or born effect for the rest of your punk. We're running one Hum Humming the Key Jin. When this card is special summon, you can target one Jin monster you're in your graveyard, special summon it. Then you can attach up to two cards from your hand to it as material. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, then target one Jin monster you control and this card can attack directly. We're running one Dengursu the Orcus. You can only special summon Dengursu the Orcus of the Evening Stars once per turn. You can also XE summon this card by using an Orcus Link Monster you control as material. If a card or cards you control will be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can detach one material from this card instead. If this card is special summoned, you can activate one of the effects. Either send one card your opponent controls to the graveyard or attach one of your banished machine monsters 
to this card as material. Of course, we're running the ever-popular Zeus. Once per turn, if an XE monster battles this turn, you can also XE summon Divine Zeus by using one XE monster you control as material. Then the quick effect, you can detach two materials from this card, send all of the cards from the field to the graveyard. Once per turn, if another card you control is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect, you can attach one card from your hand, deck, or extra deck to this card's material. So we're running one help. If this card is Link Summon, you can special summon one level three or lower tuner from your hand or deck in defense position, but it cannot activate its effects this turn. During your opponent's battle phase, you can banish this card you control, special summon one tuner synchro monster from the extra deck. And we've got one Mecha Phantom Beast Aurordon, which I've mentioned before. If this card is Link Summon, you can activate this effect. Special summon three Mecha Phantom Beast tokens. Also, you cannot Link Summon for the rest of this turn. Once per turn, you can tribute up to three monsters, then apply one of the effects. Either destroy a card, special summon a Mecha Phantom Beast from the deck, or add one trap from your graveyard to your hand. And we're running one Access Code Talker. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this card's effect activation. If this card is Link Summon, you can target one Link monster that was used as material for its Link Summon, and this card gains attack equal to that monster's Link times 1000. You can banish one Link monster from your field or graveyard to destroy one card your opponent controls. Also for the rest of this turn, you cannot banish monsters with the same attribute to activate this effect. So the deck has two basic combos to start with, and depending on if you're going first, or if you're going second, dictates on which combo you're going to go. Because if you go first, your end board will end up with at least three negates. And if you go second, your end board is going to end up clearing the field and have one negate. So let's take a look at the opening combo if you're set to go first. If you're set to go first, you'll probably have a Ziamin in your hand or you'll have a Shirakusai. Either one works really well. Let's say you had the Ziamin in hand. You would summon Ziamin. Ziamin would then search for Foxy Tune. Once you have Foxy Tune in your hand, you would activate its second ability where you can tribute itself plus one other card, one random card in your hand. And that will allow you to search and special summon to the field Shirakusai. Shirakusai's effect will then activate and now you can tribute the Shirakusai and the Xiamen that you already summoned to then special summon Rising Carp. Once Rising Carp is on the field, then you can activate its effect, tribute the Rising Carp, and now you're going to search for two monsters, one being the Wagon and the other being Madam Spider. You will activate their effects and you will search for one trap, one spell. Next, you would link these off to summon Halk. Halk's effect activates. Once it's summoned, you will now search for Deathbot. Then you'll link again and you'll bring out the Aurorodon. Aurorodon hits the field, it gets its three tokens, and now you get Deathbot back to the field. Now remember, you're going first. So what you would do is you'll activate Aurorodon's effect, tribute itself in one token, and you'll special summon the Mech Phantom Beast Olion. So now you have the Olion, you have two tokens, and you have your Deathbot. At this point, now you will Synchro Summon using the Mecha Phantom Beast and the other two tokens. You will summon Borlo Savage Dragon. Now Borlo is on the field, your old lion's in the grave, their effects activate. Savage Dragon will now search and attach the Mecha Phantom Beast on, and then old lion is going to bring back one token. That one token can now be synced with Deathbot, which will get you your Herald of Arc Light. That's two negates so far. Remember I said that you will end up with at least three? Here's your third. Because of Madam Spider, you'll search out the Punk Dangerous Gabu, which will help negate any effect monsters that are played on the field. But if you already have this in hand, search out your Nashawari Surprise, so that way you can pop a backfield or any face down defense that they play. So that is the combo for if you were going first. So how does the combo vary if you're gonna go Second, you'll do everything up to the point of summoning Aurorodon. Once you have the Aurorodon and you have your three tokens and you have your Deathbot, what you will do is you will then tribute your Deathbot and one token. You will summon Cupid Pitch. Cupid Pitch level will go up to five. And then you would use Aurorodon's effect, tribute the other two tokens, special summon Colt. Colt hits the field. Colt special summons two more tokens and it brings Deskbot back. At this point, Colt is at level 10. You will now sync Colt along with the Deskbot and summon your amazing dragon. At which point you have at least maybe four level three punk monsters in your graveyard. So you should be able to send pretty much almost the entire opponent's field back to their hand. So now you have amazing dragon, 
you have the Aurora Dawn, you still have two tokens plus your Cupid Pitch. At this point, you can then send your Cupid Pitch plus a token. That'll get you your Bore Load. Bore Load will activate and you'll attach on the help. So now you have a full field that should end your opponent in that turn. Off of the Cupid Pitch secondary search, you can pretty much search for any punk monster that you need just in case you need to have something in hand to play next turn in case they do break the field. So those are your two openers going first and going second. Now you're going first, there's also a very slight variation at the very beginning. Doesn't change your end board as much. And here's what I mean. If for some reason, you start with Shirakusai and you have any two punk monsters in hand and you have a water dragon, you would just summon the Shirakusai, activate its effect, use the materials from your hand as fusion to then summon Carp, and you would do the entire opening combo if you were going first so that way you would end with a herald you would end with a bore load but now water dragon is an extra card that you can now special summon alongside shirakusai after you've done your negates first turn your opponent just sets to try you know try and stop you to clear your board on your turn at the end make sure that your toggle is on at the end of your opponent's turn activate shirakusai's second ability and now you can synchro summon using the shirakusai and the water dragon to get into your amazing dragon which upon summon sends those cards back because now your opponent can't activate those cards yet and now when it's your turn you can activate your punk amazing dragon's second ability and pretty much monster reborn any punk monster that you had in the graveyard which will now be a wide list that's pretty you you have a wide list of punks at that point but your main target probably at this point depending on your hand is going to be the cart if you have another punk monster in your hand like i said they're all three star tuners bring back your cart summon a three star tuner doesn't matter which and now you can either go into another amazing dragon or you can go into star eater but here's the cool part now that you sync using carp you can target your amazing dragon and have your amazing dragon attack twice so that's the deck guys i hope you enjoyed so i hope you give this deck a try and if you do leave a comment down below give me a like if you like the deck and please subscribe it'll help the channel a lot until next time <laughs>